So the mustache lives on. <laughs> you got some positive and negative comments about it. He trimmed it up for us today. Welcome back to Oso Farm. We are doing a rainy day cold once a month grocery haul. It is the very end of October and we have just I think two days left of October so we are shopping for the month of November. That's kind of hard to believe. So we just went to Atwoods and we plan to go to Walmart and Sam's and then hopefully anything else I could just do a pickup order or delivery but we'll try to get most of it so oh we're also gonna need to run to HEB which is also right here for Danny's dairy free yogurts that kid can put down some food so if we're gonna we're getting him tomorrow for the week so we're gonna need to get Danny some special treats and what else we could look at Walmart I don't think Walmart has this is where I start rambling um, Walmart has dairy free yogurts. We'll have to look and see. And Esme likes the all. Oh, we were going to go to Aldi. Can we fit Aldi in here? We're trying to stay towards one area. My mom is being discharged from the hospital from her open heart surgery on Monday. So we drove two cars. We drove his truck into town so that from grocery shopping he could then go and pick up her bed. I guess while you go do the bed, Lizzie and I can go to Aldi on the way home. Okay, we are back home. It was many hours and we went to almost every store that I normally go to. I usually break it down over a couple days and it, that's sweet Evan and a couple of videos, but today this is just one huge mega grocery haul. So it's all mixed up. I will, it's mixed up a little bit in terms of stores. So I'll try to transition and tell you where things were from. So we'll start over on one side and just work our way through. There's a few things that are still in bags and I'll just have to kind of walk you through what's in that bag. I ran out of counter and table space. Okay, this is from Walmart. This is the shampoo I've been using, the Rosemary and Mint. And then this is for four kids to share. I feel like they use so much, but this is for one month. It's three conditioners and two shampoos. And then they share this Cantu Coconut Curling Cream. It smells really nice. I only needed one of deodorant and then we have this big porcelain farm sink and probably about once a week I like to use this or soft scrub bleach to clean out the bottom and make it look really white again um, Lizzie this morning went through our medicine cabinet and we only needed a few things to fill in so we got some cold and flu medication some cough drops some vitamin D and then I saw this on, I think it was Ashley. I saw this on Ashley from Grace and Grit and I'm gonna try this. I have celiac disease and so it's hard without eating whole grains to get enough fiber. So I'm gonna try this a day and see if that helps. I got two things of Manwich. We're gonna use one of these tonight and then four things of long grain and wild rice, and then two boxes of the family size jambalaya. Some pureed baby food. My Evan is seven. He has Down syndrome and has some food aversions. So he still eats pureed food um, with a speech therapist and we're trying to add like Cheerios and some crunch to this to help him kind of move past this, but this is just pureed fruit so he gets some good nutrition through there um, almost all of these bananas are going to go straight into the freezer I just peel them break them in half and put them on a sheet and then once they're flash frozen I put them in a freezer bag for smoothies 
three things of unsweetened applesauce, some fruit snacks. This is my little gluten-free section. If you watched my once a month grocery haul from last month, multiple items of my gluten-free products from Walmart had already expired and had mold on them. So I really checked this one. This, the date is December and that looked good. And I just got these table crackers. This Char brand is one of the best gluten-free brands that I have found that I really enjoy. And then two pizza crusts. Okay, some of this is Sam's. Um, there's six colored bell peppers, the boneless kind of popcorn chicken bites. And this is also from Sam's, these baby carrots. And then some of this is Aldi. I got some of the Winking Owl boxed wine, some brown rice, and then my mom, if you've been following along on our vlog, she's coming home on Halloween with um, recovering from open heart surgery. So I wanted to get a few things. She just lives two doors down from me um, and really doesn't like any spicy food. So I wanted to have some options that I could make for her quick and easy if there was a meal that we were eating that was too spicy for her. And this is still Aldi, so some frozen hash browns. We had some of these this morning. These are really good. Okay, this is back to Walmart. Some cottage cheese. Um, I've been adding cottage cheese to smoothies. It makes it a lot creamier. This block Swiss cheese I'm going to shred and put in the freezer. We have a chicken Waldorf pizza that calls for Swiss cheese. That is really good. I'm gonna make that this month. And then we got two things of the breakfast hot Jimmy Dean sausage. And then this is back to Aldi, two of the oat milks. I have a daughter that prefers this. And then my grandson, Danny, is um, dairy free. So this should last us maybe halfway through the month. And then I got two creamers at Aldi. I'm gonna try this peppermint bark and hazelnut. And then over here, we always get a box of these rice rusks from Aldi. Um, we still have some from last month, but I went ahead and got a whole box of them. Um, Evan loves these. And then I got these dino chicken nuggets. My Lizzie loves them. And then also we're gonna have Danny again this week. So I got that for him. And then this is Walmart, some frozen peas. And what are these, french fries. Some of the hash browns that have the onions and peppers. This is so good. Some peas and carrots and some tater tots. And then this is a big bag of corn. I have a corn recipe that I'm gonna make this month in the crock pot. It's like a cream corn. It is so good with cream cheese and butter. And then this we're gonna have, or they're gonna have for lunch. I've got the spicy chicken sandwich patties. So they'll have that at some point. And then I got this for my mom as a snack. She loves this rice pudding. So there's 12 of those in there. And my Amy's, um, my Amy's meals are now between five and $8 a box. They used to be about $3. So I only got two because that is just so crazy. But sometimes when they're eating something that has gluten and I don't have anything, available that's easy for me to just make it's nice to have a few of those in the freezer these strawberry gogurts are something that evan will eat so those three boxes are for him he won't eat all these in a month the date here says it doesn't expire till january so those are good oh that one got a little puncture these are dairy free yogurts for danny since he's going to be staying with us this week i got him different flavors of that and these are for Danny. He likes these pureed pouches. He's 18 months old. And then this will be one lunch for us, these two boxes of chicken taquitos. And then my daughter Emma said that Daniel also likes these and they're really not that messy if you give him these when they're not completely thawed out but almost. Um, so I think there's four, yeah, there's four in here. Okay, this is jumping over to Aldi. I have a fall dessert recipe that calls for espresso coffee. And so I bought this, it's vacuum sealed, so I'm sure there's a lot more in here than what it looks like. 
And then these two boxes are little snacks for Danny. And then these cauliflower gluten-free crackers. I'm gonna try, I did not like the cheddar ones. So I'm gonna try these. And this tiny box, it's four ounces, was I think three or four dollars. Gluten-free stuff is so expensive. I got two boxes of graham crackers. This is the only cereal I bought for the month. Um, one box of Frosted Flakes and two of the Aldi Fruit Loops. I had bought some mayo at Sam's that my husband was not fond of. So I went ahead and got these two from Aldi. And then the price on these two uh, containers of mayonnaise was $4.18 a piece. I thought that was crazy. I know at one point not too long ago they used to be under $2. So I got some lunch meat, some ham and turkey. And then while we were shopping, they ate at Subway. And so I couldn't eat anything there because of gluten. And so I bought, I ate one of these in the car. This was from Sam's. These little Santa Fe salads with chicken. I'm is very tiny. It just barely filled me up. So I'm hungry and ready for dinner. These specialty soups are really good from Aldi. I've never tried this hearty vegetable and I read the ingredients. I think it'll be safe for me to eat. I love having soup and a grilled cheese, and then I do love this tomato bisque. It tastes pretty similar to La Madeleine's. If y'all have one of those restaurants um, in your area, is really, really good. Um, this pork tenderloin was really good from Aldi. They had it, I don't like pork tenderloin, but everybody else loved it. It is, um, under $4 a pound. This one is almost three pounds, so it's $11. And some change, I got some sliced cheese for sandwiches. This is all from Aldi still. Here's some more lunch meat, some turkey and salami. And um, just some granola bars, I only bought a few. Some feta cheese, and then I've been buying my pure maple syrup from Azure Standard, and I bought it in June, a huge, probably a gallon container of it and it's gone. And so I went ahead and bought this just cheap fake syrup to get us through. I think I placed the Azure order the end of the first week of November. So we won't have pure maple syrup again until probably the middle or end of November. So I went ahead and got that so we could still have pancakes and things like that. Okay, there were some things on the floor that I just did not have space for. There's all our dishes, we've been gone all day. So this is only bread. It is bagels for the month, two things of white bread. I like to take this white bread and make French toast and then freeze it. And then these buns are really, really good. We've been doing a magnolia table um, recipe that has like a spicy hamburger. Those two buns are for that. And then it just has bagels at the bottom. And these two Walmart bags, there are, it is just frozen juice. Frozen orange juice, frozen apple juice, and frozen grape juice. I think we got six orange and a few apple and a few grape. This is all produce from Aldi. I got three huge things of red grapes and some zucchini, some kale, green peppers, some cilantro and I'm gonna make our Uncle John's corn so I needed some corn on the cob and these are already peeled so that makes it extra easy. Here is some more produce from all the red apples and lemons and red onions, then some mandarins and cucumbers and white onions. Um, two bags of pears. These are my gluten-free loaves of bread from Aldi. I got one whole grain and one white. And then these are frozen hash browns, just two bags of frozen, I don't think you could even see that. Okay, two bags of frozen hash browns from Aldi. Then there's tortillas in the bottom and then two of these snack bags. One of these will be gone in one lunch. So I got an everything, a pretzel slim and an original. Let's see, we did all that. And then from Sam's, there's a big 42 pound thing of cat litter. We have three indoor cats. 
Okay, this is primarily Sam's. I bought two of these. The other one is somewhere. This guacamole comes in a big bag and every time we've opened it, we have eaten it all up and it, you can freeze these. So I went ahead and bought two of those. Some salsa, one gallon container of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, some minced garlic. This chicken breast is, was on sale in a can and so I went ahead and got that. I think it was $15 some crunchy peanut butter. I did buy two things of pecans. The other one is somewhere. Their chicken salad is really, really yummy. This says Best Buy November 1st. So um, there's a couple of us that like this and my mom likes this. So we'll eat that up by the first of the week. These mini tacos were really good. I did not have any sort of reaction to them. It doesn't say gluten-free, but I think it was okay for me. The, a big, um, glass jar of jalapeno peppers. We have one in the refrigerator and it is probably only a fourth of it left. So I went ahead and got that for the pantry. A thing of heavy cream and half and half. Some crispy fried onions. Four things of almond milk. From, we use that for smoothies and then little Danny can drink that too. I got two bags of this crumbled Bacon, it is shelf stable until you open it and then it needs to be in the refrigerator. Two things of strawberries at Sam's, a big bag of sweet potatoes, some blackberries, two different kinds of kiwi, gold and green, some broccoli, and two packages of romaine lettuce. They each have five heads, so that's 10 heads of romaine lettuce. I think we have just a little bit left from last month. So we really do go through that each month. Some potatoes, red potatoes, plums, grapefruits. We did stop at Aldi to get all of our animal feed. And then the extra things we got, I thought this, I'm gonna actually put this up till December, but it's this old fashioned mix, classic Christmas candy. Do y'all remember like your grandmother's having this in like a little glass? Dish if you do leave a comment below. I looked at the ingredients. I think it's safe for me to have, but I just thought that was fun. So I went ahead and got that. And then the taffy, they have really great taffy there. Brian and I teach ninth graders. We're gonna take that to our class. And then we have this bowl that we'd purchased a few months ago and it slipped out of Brian's hand. This is like his sourdough bread making bowl. So we replaced that. Okay, last table, a huge thing of napkins. There's 1,200 in here. We get one of these boxes. It has two huge bags of tortilla chips inside. Over here, we got this last year and it was so good. Um, it's the Lando Lakes Cocoa Mix. They do have this online at Sam's. I think, I think you can buy it online, I'm pretty sure. So it is chocolate supreme, French vanilla, salted caramel, and mint. I liked the mint and salted caramel last year. A box of cinnamon rolls, Pillsbury, and a box of crescents. Okay, let's see. So some quart size Ziploc bags. They're albacore tuna. Here's that other bag of pecan halves. And then I got this Ghirardelli dark melting wafers for holiday baking, and then the white vanilla flavored wafers, another big bag of just the, let me turn it around, semi-sweet chocolate chips Toll House. Up here, Sam's always has these really cute seasonal, really heavy duty paper plates. So I have a fall one, and I went ahead and got this. They only probably had 10 of these. So if you don't buy it now, people have already moved on to the other holiday if I wait until December. This also is a winter variety pack of the Canada Dry Ginger Ale. This is really yummy. It has the plain cranberry and blackberry. We get this every year. We probably go through two or three, three of these over the holiday season. Okay, this is the Members Mark K-Cups that Brian and I like. And I got some Pam cooking spray, some Velveeta shells and cheese, some applesauce. This big thing of Parmesan cheese, I just put directly in the freezer and cook from it. Um, 
let's see, I lost my train of thought. Oh, I just used up the last one. And then we have a huge bag of croutons, huge bag of croutons. We've really been liking this Kinder's brand of um, seasonings. So we're gonna try the cracked pepper Parmesan. We got a can of bushes, black beans, and then a 25 pound bag of sugar. Some Marie Callender's soup and some Progresso chicken noodle soup. This was the only meat outside of the pork tenderloin that I bought. This is almost, well, two and a half pounds of beef skirt steak. This is good for fajitas. And then two huge chuck roasts. This will, I'll divide this up into individual meals. This was seven, over seven pounds, and it was $36. These are the big boxes of chicken broth that was on sale today. I bought these individually portioned salmon for my mom to eat with that rice when we were having something that was too spicy for her. I got some potato soup that's already pre-made. Um, I don't know if I showed this. This Better Nut Granola Bar is um, gluten-free. It's very good. Got some shaved Parmesan and Romano, Romano, Parmesan and Romano cheese for salads. Some pistachios. That is the other bacon and the other guacamole. We always get a big thing of the 12 count of croissants. These Crunch Master chips are gluten-free they are very crunchy but they're very good and then the quaker variety pack of oatmeal so i got two things of the laundry detergent and two things of fabric softener just a two pack of a loaf of bread and then i got these canada dry minis we're going to use these for just special dinners or for lunches over the holidays and then I got another thing of Canada Dry, just the plain, and then the root beer, and Dr. Pepper. And then this is a big ultra paper bowls. They are thick and sturdy. You could serve soup in there if you needed to. It's 150. Okay, I think that does it. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I am going to try to post my November meal plan and I've got to kind of make sense of this first and see what we have and go from there. But we do this every month where we do a big grocery haul once a month and then do a couple of fill-in hauls. We live out in the country and it's kind of harder to drive all the way in town just when you run out of a few things. So this really helps us stay prepared and helps our budget too to not keep going out to the store. Okay friends, thanks for watching. We really appreciate you, appreciate all the support you've given to our family and we will chat with you in the comments. See you soon, bye-bye.